What if you use comps even when you're in a party? Wouldn't that be more fair? It would be. And in the golden age of HCC, when they first introduced comms, people did use comms pretty often. That doesn't happen anymore though. I gave up on comms when I told a Plat Diablo, don't, don't, don't 4v5 man. And then he proceeded to immediately charge in 4v5. And then I said, why'd you 4v5 man? And then he said, I wasn't 4v5ing. F you and F, F your whole family. And, and then I knew, the age of comms is over boys. The age of solo queue comms is over. That's never going to be a thing again with the Plats in this game. Why Vala over Raynor? Because the other guy wanted Raynor. Vala does more immortal damage than Raynor too, I think. Well, maybe not actually. Maybe it's similar. Either way, we have both. Missing. Sylvanas is missing. Sylvanas is top. Why is Sylvanas top? Well oh wait, no one's missing. Never mind. It's just a Cho'Gal. That's why. that next. Will Bill Q build? Yeah, I think you always go Q build on BOE. The racing power is too too much, too important. I want a snowball early game if they're running Cho'Gal. We did our camp way faster than them. My Rainer gets stunned by inanimate objects. Really hate to see that. And since they tried to do their camp, we got a free half time from that, so that's nice. Buy that here. That's a Cho'Gal main by the way. I think both of those guys are Cho'Gal mains. So that's probably gonna be like the best Cho'Gal you'll see. I think both of them are like Cho'Gal mains. Cho'Gal by the way. This freaking Rainer has full HP full mana. He's too scared to get the gloves. Makes me go. And this is uh, this is what I mean when, you, when I say they're... Freaking early game sucks ass and we wanna snowball it, right? So so far so good. Defender's advantage is so strong these days though.
Probably should have pushed bottom. My God, this defender's advantage is so insane. I need to pull back. Didn't even get four with a full immortal. That's crazy. I'm gonna push bottom next time. I must rest, heroes, but I will return. That hit me. Must be yes. At least we're getting fat stacks. I guess that's probably the best is gonna get farm farm the stacks. That hit me, that was really bad. Oh my god, I can't believe that hit me. Rip. That's my bet. Hopefully he lives. Varian smashing on cooldown? Yeah, I know. Not much else he can do as a smash variant, I suppose. Well, I wanna follow the same game plan. Their race still sucks, so... Does it ever make sense to weaken one side so you can choose where Immortal goes? Sure, but that's very hard to do in practice. But yeah, it could make sense. One month streak, baby. Welcome back, Foya. Thank you for the two months, man. One more till you get some gold sunglasses in your life. Shit! I accidentally attacked the variant, dude. Holy shit, and the Ford almost one shot me. So scary. I really needed to not attack the variant there and just kill the Ford. <laughs> Ah, shit. The Attacking the variant there cost me so much. I could kill this Trogal if I was full HP, which I would be if I didn't attack the variant. GLHF. Quest complete. Cyan, thank you for the GLHF. Welcome back as well. Thanks for the uh Thanks for the eleven. One more. This might be bad. He took too much life. Oh we got it though. Oh yeah, just leave. Too much damage. At least we got it. Should uh, make sure we get as many camps as we can. Show build? There you go. QQ. This is just Q build. You can also see this build by typing exclamation mark Vala in the chat and then just it's the Q build. You can get any of my builds pretty much whenever you want, even if the stream is offline, by typing exclamation mark hero name in the chat. I am backing. I can't help them.
Why not AA? Because AA sucks, yeah. I do think AA Vala might be... One of the best uses of AA Vala, in my opinion, is actually against Trogal, because he lets you stack so easily, but... Since it's BOE, it's more important to go Q still, I think. problem Neil. Like you can see we instantly get it to 50. Like that's the power of Q build and exterminator rainer. It's, it's such a big deal. It's such a big difference. Like we're gonna 100 their immortal before they can even get to ours because just the two of us because we have race builds. You see that? That's, that's why you go race on BOE. I think this push opposite thing is going to be mandatory. I don't really like these tower changes. I mean, push opposite is cool and all, but like it just makes no sense. Like, new players are never going to understand this is the optimal way to play this. Oh god. So why are we doing this? Why are we doing this change? I don't really like it, actually. The more I think about it. Killing spree. Alright, well, we successfully snowballed against the Chogal. I'm taking it, I guess. Chogal talents. Here you go. Pretty sure this one is not correct. This is not good. Everything else looks normal. Everything else looks pretty good. Thirty-eight stacks. You love to see it, dude. Love to see that. Rainer's level one works on objectives. Well, exterminator, yes. Can you make the statement you just made about towers to us noobs who like watching high level play? So if you're 5v5 pushing with the immortal, you can't hit the enemy heroes. So it's really hard to push unless you have an overwhelming advantage. Right? So, hold on. If you're like, you know, if the enemy team's here and your immortal's here, and you're like here, and you're trying to push, like, what ends up happening most of the time is if you're even leveled, is they're hitting your immortal, right? They're hitting it for free, because they got this freaking fort here. And you can't do anything. Most of the time, you're just sitting here doing, like, jack shit. Like, you'll, you, they, you can't do much, right? They can hit your immortal, they can hit you. But the difference is you can't hit them. If you hit them, this fort's going to, like, two-shot your ass. So literally... Most of the time it, that you're spending pushing within a, a mortal, you're just like sitting on your butt doing nothing here. That's why you go push the other lane. If you go push the other lane and they defend, you're still doing nothing, right? But now your immortal is pushing for free. So if they defend bottom like they did, your immortal is pushing for free and your immortal is not getting killed by the enemy team. And then if the enemy team defends your immortal, then, then you can push for free, so... This way is just way better because this circumvents the stupid fort thing. Like the fort two-shotting your ass is like really strong. So this patch, it makes more sense to push opposite, I think. Yeah, because of the tower changes, yeah. Can you link your Venn diagram? 
that'll be uh, one million dollars. I have the original copy of that art. One million dollars is the bid. Starting price. 